My name's Craig Jones, I'm from Crook, South Dakota. The sled I had was a 1971 Rupp 400 Magnum. I guess when we found the sled, it was, uh, I always wanted to do a Magnum. Um, it was pretty much a junker sitting in a shed. Took two of them to make one, tore every bolt, everything off it completely down to nothing. Um, polished all the bolts, we vapor honed the motor. You know, everything was painted, polished and put back together. I guess growing up when I was younger, living in southern Minnesota, my dad always had a 76 Nitro, and uh, which is a rup, and I was too young to ride it, it was too fast that I couldn't get out. My older brother could ride it, so I always wanted a rup and found these, and Magnums were always a part of the race history. And I really liked the race history, so I found this sled, and it just seemed like a really fun project and to bring it back to life. And yeah, so that was kind of the motivation. I wanted to make it a showpiece, you know, I didn't want to just polish it up and clean it up like a lot of sleds you see, you know, um, it wasn't a survivor deal, it was uh, to bring it back to better than original, hopefully, is what we wanted to try and do with it, and I feel we accomplished that. It's hard to source, you know, you got a 50 plus year old sled, parts are hard to source at times, but, uh, you know, you start looking at a lot of people in the industry and um, out there that are rub lovers, and I guess I would say it's some... Uh, clips on the track, you know, to run the guides. They were hard to uh, source, so we had them CNC'd. I had to make those. Uh, a friend of mine helped me make those and uh, worked out great. You'd be amazed the parts you find out there and what people are hanging on to. And, you know, the tank was good on it. There's motor parts, you know, we had to rebuild everything there. Relied on a bunch of people for different pistons, rings, things like that to get the motor back to where it was. And, crank rebuild, but I think the most time went into polishing that tunnel. It was a lot of work and I think it turned out, um, you know, how I expect, how I wanted it to, I guess, is had a nice high chrome finish, the aluminum polished up very well. And we started it, we ran it, um, but I did not drive it, um, which is, that's probably one regret. I wish I would have, but I did not. It was gonna be a showpiece. Um, wasn't gonna be rode much at all anyway. Um, so it was gonna be on and off the trailer is what it was for, so I really didn't ride it much. I guess the biggest thing people said is, uh, it looks better than when it came off the factory floor. I mean, things like that. That's a huge compliment to me. I mean, I, I was like, wow, really? To hear that, you know, makes you want to do more. Yeah, I guess the, the sled did go to, um, who has turned into a friend now, um, a collector in northern Minnesota. Um, it's a great collection. Um, you know, his dad owned a Rupp dealership, and he's collecting them, and I didn't want to sell, but it seemed right um, to where it was going. Um, had to buy a car for my kid and kind of needed the money and it was kind of where it was. You know, it's sad to see it go, but uh, I went to a good home and um, now we can move on to some other ones, but still searching for other ups too, so. All right, this is uh, my 73 Nitro 400. Um, kind of custom out a little bit, not crazy, but um, gloss paint job, he would have been originally flat down the black with a white stripe, but uh, felt do a little more custom to it. Um, yeah, we took away the plastic fairing in the back and made it more open, kind of like the Magnums were, just to give it that more sportier kind of a hot rod look to it. So yeah, this is my 73. I guess I call it the bar hopper. This one, uh, wasn't as rough as the um, 71 Magnum, but this one was a, I would say a 75% restore. Um, the motor has never been touched, the motor's strong, so I never went through the, had to rebuild anything on the motor. You can see some of that stuff's pretty original. Not a lot of polishing or anything there. This is more of my rider for shows and stuff. Some cleanup on the tunnels, new seat. Um, so a seat was all done. Um, custom windshield. They definitely didn't come with these short black ones. They had a tall clear. So she's pretty original, but paint job and kind of a little couple custom things and that's about it. Well, this is the next build I've been working on. Um, this is a 76 TX440. Um, on the wall you can see the old hood. Um, this is the new PDC hood, which was a Pro Driver Circuit racing hood. So. Uh, the racing history is amazing to me. Um, the guys that race oval, this is kind of set up that way. We've kind of done some, there's a lot of fab work still left to do into it right now. Punched out, 
crankcase, or chain case, sorry. Uh, motor's been all vapor honed, rebuilt, complete. Um, we got Troy Pierce racing pipes on it right now. Um, everything's been powder coated, new belly pan, new hood, powder coated skis. Um, seat's been all redone. Um, Wall Brothers racing tank. Um, yeah, so this is the next. It's gonna be a little bit, but hope to have it ready for uh, Midwest ride in here for uh, 2024.